So I've been working on this recipe for quite some time now. And I figured, let me come in 2020 extra, extra hard. Today, I'm gonna bring you keto tortilla chips. Now, tortilla chips, they have a distinctive flavor. But one more important, most importantly, one thing they have that you don't see on, in keto very often is a snap. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I created a blog post for this and I felt like this needed to have a video because there are a lot of tips and techniques I can give you guys. And you know what, that's exactly what you're gonna get right now. I promise you this recipe is gonna be really, really easy to make. It's a couple ingredients, but they're very specific. So, first thing you'll need is 3 fourths of a cup of almond flour, blanched almond flour to be exact, a fourth of a cup of whey protein isolate, two tablespoons of coconut flour, two teaspoons of xanthan gum, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of fine ground black pepper. Now, when it comes to the salt, this is what you mix inside of the dough, but if you want to sprinkle it with something coarser or just salt all after at the end, that's fine too. Because I mean, I know people like that chips a little salty. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix this up, then you're gonna pour it inside a food processor. On the side, what you need is you need one egg and you need two tablespoons of water. Cold water, hot water, doesn't matter. But cold water just, I mean, it's just easier. You don't have to wait for it. Start your food processor. Add your egg in there. And then what you do is you slowly pour the water in. Now you're slowly pouring the water in is because out of all the times I made it, sometimes it takes the full two tablespoons, sometimes it doesn't. But as you're pouring it into the food processor, what you're looking for is a ball to form. When you pull it out, you want to knead it a little bit and then move forward. A tip with the recipe, something I've noticed, I don't really see where it can go wrong, but I would say I tried to make it one time without the coconut flour, and what happened was it didn't form into a ball. It actually became like a sticky paste. And this ball that you have right now that you see me pressing out between two um, sheets of parchment paper, it wasn't sticky to my hand. But that paste was extra sticky to my hand and I couldn't even form it into a ball. Now when it comes to pressing these out, you want to go on the thin side, not so thin that you can't even lift it up off the paper without it tearing, but you do want to be thinner. The thinner they are, the more crispier you're going to get them. Now for those that like to add to the recipe, if you add baking powder, they're definitely probably not going to get crispy at all. There's a reason baking powder isn't in there. It's a leavener. We're not trying to leaven anything. We're trying to keep things flat and dry. It may bubble up a little bit, but that's not an issue whatsoever. Don't worry about that. Just a couple little air pockets in there, make it extra crispy for you. Now, whatever shape you wanna put these in, it doesn't really matter whatsoever. I found that the squares actually tend to crisp up a little better than the triangles. But I mean, you know, if you're a triangle type of person or a square type of person, I mean, <laughs> do what you wanna do. And you can actually make them bigger than what I made them. Next time I make these, I'm actually gonna probably make them a little larger to resemble more of you know, like the larger tortilla chips, because these were kind of a bite size. Do you see these two very different colors? Now, this isn't burnt, but guess what? It will have a burnt taste to it compared to this one. You want to go a bit light skin with it. <laughs> it may have some, you know, some browner marks like that, and that's completely fine. But for the chip to look this way, the taste is completely different. And I want you guys to know that, and that's something I can put inside of the blog post, but I want you to see it in person. I absolutely love these, because chips are something I've been craving for a while that I just don't have. And if you can't hit the crunch, here's another close up. And is it crispy? I mean, of course it is. But just, you know, for, for verification reasons for the other one, it's still crispy. Chips is something I definitely miss because I love salsa. Um, cheese dip, I don't really care too much for. I mean, I'll do it, you know, especially if it's a party or something like that. But salsa, I used to kill all the time, you know. So to have a recipe like this and they're pretty much tasteless. They're seasoned, but they're pretty much tasteless. And that's exactly what you need. It pulls it off very well, actually. As far as shelf life goes, they'll last a couple of days. It's not, it's not something that's gonna last a week. You can stick them in the refrigerator but the fresher they are the better they are but more than likely if you make it you're not they're not going to last very long i i promise you that they're not going to last long at all <laughs> now the first time i made these i didn't add any salt or pepper i highly advise that you do so because that sucker can get really really bland if you don't add any type of seasoning whatsoever now if you want to get a little funky with it you can add in ranch seasoning i mean simply garlic powder i mean you can get really you can get really 
funky with it if that's what you want it to do. But salt and pepper is just a great base, especially if you want to mix it with something like my keto cheese sauce that you see in the photos, or if you wanted to do a ranch or maybe a guacamole, you know, avocado is very, very big in the keto world. All right, that's all I got for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to your channel, hit that subscribe button. I am Darius, this is the Sugarless Chris, who's your sugar-free destination of YouTube. Enjoy me. Now you know I'm guilt free. It's 2020, baby. Indulge. Real quick before I end the video, I want to send a special thanks to Nam Nam. Now, I like to give credit where credit is due. If you notice, she does have a pastry recipe that actually gets like golden and crisp in the oven, and I thought it was wonderful. And in my process of looking for a pastry recipe, I came across this. And when I made it, I was like, I think I can change this and actually make things crispy. Because actually hers, they st it still kind of ends up a little rubbery. So I altered the recipe, and I just want to give a special shout out because she did give me a base. She gave me a a place to start when it came to creating this recipe. So, thank you, Paola.